Pickle era is certain to be an exciting one. It's just a matter of how quickly they get there. We're going to talk about 10 guys today, and it's 10 guys that will make Wisconsin look drastically different than what we've seen for a long, long time. This is not your dad's Wisconsin team. It's not your grandpa's Wisconsin team. But this is going to be a good change, one that will still keep a lot of the traditions, but also adapt to the new era of college football. We'll start with Chimeri DK, the wide receiver who could take a step forward in a more explosive system. 689 yards last year, six touchdowns. Somebody is going to have an explosive year. It's just a matter of who. Phil Longo brings in an air raid attack, a, a more explosive attack, a spread attack, you name it, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Bill Longo will disrupt what Wisconsin has done for years and years. The days of lining up extra line, linemen, extra tight ends aren't completely gone. They will still probably utilize that every once in a while, but this is going to be a lineup behind center, not under center. You're going to spread three, four wide, and you're going to throw the ball a lot more. You're still going to run the ball, but you're going to throw a lot more than what we've seen in the past for the Badgers. And a guy like DK could be one of those players that takes a step forward and um, helps this new era become the new era of Wisconsin football that everybody loves. The defense is really where the tradition should continue. Fickle is a defensive guy. He brings in Trestle with him to continue running that defense they ran at Cincinnati. And a good defense is no stranger to Wisconsin fans. They are going to continue that tradition. That's not going to change. Jordan Turner is just one of many linebackers on this team. That is really exciting to watch. A good side linebacker at 6'1", 238 pounds. Someone who I think can really benefit from fickle's arrival the linebacker position is really interesting because if you look at what cincinnati did the secondary obviously is where everyone will focus on you look at what sauce gardner kobe bryant there's been good players but the linebacker position is where their their steady contributors have been their their leaders of this defense and jordan turner will figure that out and will find that he's going to like his new role in this defense quite a bit we mentioned that running the football is not going to weigh Bill Longo adapts to his teams. You look at his stops previously to Wisconsin. You look at even recently when he was at North Carolina, you look at Michael Carter and Javante Williams. That was a team that a few years ago wasn't going to throw the ball a lot. They were going to rely on their talented duo in the backfield, and they did exactly that. Phil Longo is not trying to completely change things because he runs things a certain way. He's going to find out what his team is good at, what his offense is good at, and he's going to, feature that as much as possible. Ches Malusi will be one of those players that benefits from that. You have a, a rushing attack that will still be very potent, will still be a focal point. I don't think this is going to be a, suddenly a pass first team. Luke Fickle really wants to run the football. He obviously will tell Longo that, and Longo wants to do that as well. But the nice thing is I believe Fickle is going to let go of the reins. He's going to let Longo take over because Longo know what's, knows what his personnel is. He knows what he needs to do, and he knows how to get this offense going. And Ches Malusi is one of the, just one of the players we'll talk about today that will be a beneficiary of that jack nelson comes back at offensive tackle a potential nfl draft pick something that wisconsin fans are hoping to see more of once again this used to be a, a program that just was a factory for offensive linemen and they still have found ways to recruit really big linemen they just haven't found the nfl talent has followed with that so i think that you're hoping this offense creates more opportunities for everyone, and that includes the offensive line position as well. Nelson's an experienced player with 26 games of experience under his belt. The, the Stone, Wisconsin native is hoping that this is a different type of season after a 7-6 and six year in 2022, and he's hoping that this is an offense that finished 76 in in scoring last year that can take a step forward in 2023 the defense like we mentioned will continue that tradition that we saw under jim letter for so long of being stout and being tough to beat and the linebacker position like i said we mentioned earlier will be a feature of this defense cj gates is a really interesting player in terms of his production we saw last year who saw his first year as a starter six to one tackles eight tackles for loss someone who can be a really good player 
for this defense. And again, when you, I think when you look at Ivan Pace last year, CJ Gates could play that role for Wisconsin. Pace was phenomenal for Cincinnati in 2022. Didn't get him drafted, but which honestly is is criminal. But CJ Gates could be that player that can be a leader, but also just a monster in terms of production, in terms of disruptiveness. Now, that also has a lot to do with the front group. And one of the more underrated additions from the transfer portal was Darian Varner. The Temple transfer comes in and it brings good experience and has good production as well. 19 and a half tackles for loss, 10 and a half sacks in his career. And that was a solid addition to a front seven that will play a huge role in this team's success. So you're going to be able to see an explosive offense, but the tradition of playing really good defense will also continue. A player that followed Luke Fickle to Wisconsin and a player with plenty of experience. And at one point, one of the most, consistent and, and talented players in college football at his position was Jake Renfro. The center comes in with 20 games of experience, was a big player in the Cincinnati's college football playoff run two years ago. And he comes to Wisconsin to help a program that is expecting big things from this offense. They are expecting a lot of fun and Renfro doesn't know the system, but he knows Fickle's culture. He knows what to expect, and that's huge to be able to help a new quarterback in Tanner Mordecai. Tanner Mordecai is a reliable passer with over 7,700 yards and 76 touchdowns in his career. You'd like to see him reduce some of those turnovers, but he is a great addition to be able to kind of bridge that gap between what's going on now and what's going to happen in the future. His final season in college football is really going to be him Still running an explosive offense, but showing the new guys, the young guys, how it's done, how to be in this system, how to run an offense, how to be a professional, essentially, at the collegiate level. And you you made a good decision by bringing him in. That was one of maybe not the biggest splash in terms of transfer portal, but I think he's a great fit for what Longo wants to do, and he's a great fit for this offense another linebacker we'll talk about Mema and Jungmita six foot 240 pounds another player that can be disruptive 95 tackles 11 and a half tackles for loss I really like Wisconsin's trio of linebackers arguably one of the best in college football this is a group again we talked about the tradition of Wisconsin wants to run the football they want to run play action and they want to just suck the life out of you on defense. They want to be disruptive and they want to make life miserable. They will continue that with the trio of linebackers they have. It's just a matter of what are the guys in front of them and behind them do to make life a lot easier. The final guy we'll talk about today, the one that everybody knows, the one that everybody should know if you don't, is Braylon Allen. Arguably, in my opinion, the best running back in college football. You look at what he's done over the last two years, 2,500 yards, six yards per carry, 23 touchdowns. You're telling me that he did that with a team that could not pass the football efficiently, a team that saw a ton of loaded boxes because nobody respected the quarterback and the passing attack. And this kid averaged six yards per carry. I don't think he gets enough love for what he did. This kid is extremely explosive. He's huge at 6'2", 245. He also has speed to be able to run away from people. So I think that Braylon Allen deserves a lot of love. He deserves a lot more recognition for the things that he can do. And those who don't really know him or aren't giving him enough credit need to pay attention and watch the film a little bit more because Braylon Allen is – Wisconsin running backs, you knew every single year you were going to face loaded boxes. You were going to face teams that did not respect the passing attack. And that put a lot of pressure on the rushing attack to get the job done and move the football down the field. It's not easy. It's not easy to create something out of nothing. And if you're averaging six yards per carry over two years against defenses that know what you're trying to do. It's not like it was a secret of what Wisconsin was trying to do. They were trying to run the football as much as possible, and Braylon Allen still managed to be successful. Now, why is that important? Because you're looking at an offense that's going to spread the ball out more. You're going to force teams to, strictly by numbers, if you have three guys 
uh, near the numbers or outside of the numbers, defenses aren't just going to put one guy there. They're going to send two, maybe even three. You could probably say two and a half players out there to cover that. That takes three guys away from where Braylon Allen is going to run. You're taking guys out of the box. You are creating more space for him to run. And the fact that he did six yards per carry with a crowded box means that if you take players away, this could be even more lethal of a rushing attack when teams can't focus so many players inside of that area. So Wisconsin has a lot of potential to be an exciting team in 2023. Luke Fickle brings that good culture to Wisconsin. He also continues some of the traditions that maybe some of the more traditional fans really like. You're still going to see them run the football. You're still going to see a physical type of, of offense. You're still going to see a physical type of defense that's going to be one of the best in college football. Not much has changed other than Wisconsin is finally adapting to the times. And it's going to be fun to see what Fickle can do, what this offense can do, and what the future holds for the Badgers in a conference where they've competed at times. It's just been a matter of adjusting to the game and adjusting to what the new era of college football is.